good option if you are a business owner like myself and you do use Shopify because this is nothing that affects your credit. So you can usually literally take a loan through Shopify and they deduct um, a certain percentage of your sales every day. If you don't get no sales, they don't deduct anything. So Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all should already know who it is, or you should know who it is. I'm back with like a day in the life, day in my life type of video. Let me turn this light off because <laughs> I'm going to my business room. But y'all, I'm so hungry. I have not ate yet. It's Thursday morning. I do have some orders to finish up. And once I finish these orders, I'm going to head to the post office. I'm going to go to Walmart to grocery shop. And I'm also getting my hair done today, which I'm really, really, really excited about because I've been wearing wigs like the past, I've been wearing wigs consistently, I want to say the past year, really. Um, I have gotten box braids in between once, but then I only had it temporarily because I had to do a photo shoot. So I took it out and back to wigs. So I'm really excited to get my hair braided. And yeah, so like I said, I'm about to come finish working on these few orders, head to the post office, go to Walmart grocery shop. I need to stock up. This time when I go grocery shop and I have to stock up because winter is coming. Last time I went to the grocery store, y'all, there was nothing. Like Walmart didn't even have my lactate milk I like. I had to get the blue one. And yeah, so we're just going to stock up because I don't like going to Walmart anyway. And I'm hungry. I'm going to go to my favorite sandwich shop as of recently, Jersey what is it called? Jersey Mike something? But yeah, so I'm Hey y'all, so I just finished packing orders. We are about to go to the post office. Okay, you guys, so I'm on the way to the post office. Um, I'm so hungry. I'm very, very hungry because even last night, I barely had dinner just because I was working on orders. I didn't feel like cooking anything. I literally just threw some chicken strips and fries in the air fryer. And like I said earlier, I'm about to go to the post office. I'm about to... Oh, y'all, the order just came through. That's the second order that's coming through since I left the house. I'm so excited. But y'all, I'm also excited because your girl applied for Shopify Capital and got approved. If you're on my lives usually, then y'all know that... Um, I did apply for capital, I want to say last year, maybe earlier this year, and I didn't get approved and I didn't know why because it's like my business is making all these sales. Why aren't I being approved? And um, please don't ask me any questions about Shopify capital. I'm not knowledgeable about it. I just know that I did schedule a phone call with one of the Shopify experts and um, when I did apply a while ago and the lady kind of explained everything to me and it is definitely a good option if you are a business owner like myself and you do use Shopify because this is nothing that affects your credit. So you can usually literally take a loan through Shopify and they deduct um, a certain percentage of your sales every day. If you don't get no sales, they don't deduct anything. So say if you have a no sale day, you won't get anything deducted. But it's a good it's a good thing because they deposit the money. I literally applied for this what the day before yesterday and the money is in my account today. So they deposit it straight into your account, which the lady explained to me and everything. She said they deposit it straight into your account and I'm not gonna say you don't necessarily have to use it for your business, but she did say like, if you did wanna use it, say for example, if you're trying to get an investment property for your business, if you're trying to get a storefront and you do get approved for a large amount from Shopify, that's a good investment because like I said, they send the money immediately to your account and they don't, they really don't watch what you use it for, I wanna say. So, and then they take a percentage of your sales every day. The reason why I really wanted to do it is because I've been investing a lot in my business. And if you've been subscribed, follow me, then y'all know I just moved into my house. I just closed. I spent a lot of money on the down payment. I spent a lot furnishing and I'm still not done furnishing. Um, I'm also working on other business moves. <laughs> Stay tuned for those, you guys. But I'm also working on other business moves. I do have a vending machine. I do also... Um, have journals on the way so all of these things cost money so as much as I don't like taking loans it felt like a good option because like I said I can get stocked up for Black Friday I am fully stocked at my house I have in my guest room which you might have seen in the previous videos and I still have inventory at my parents house so I'm fully stocked on inventory but with the way this whole pandemic is I love to be stocked up and I am a lash vendor I like to be stocked up I like to have everything ready to ship for my customers so 
I'm excited because like I said, I have over 15,000 lash restock. I paid all the deposits for my lashes and I was just kind of like, dang, I gotta pay the balance and I have been getting sales so that I can gather the money, you know, to finish paying it off. But now that I have this, I literally this morning, I reached out to my two lash suppliers and I told them, go ahead and send me the balance invoice and I paid everything. So everything has been paid for. And then like I said, I've been getting orders between last night and this morning, all this money should hit my account maybe by Monday. So the, even though I just received capital from Shopify, I'm already going to pay it off. And you can pay it off in chunks. So for example, Black Friday's in a few weeks, Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday. That's basically the same weekend. Once I have sales, hopefully an abundance of sales on all three of those days, once I receive that payout, all of that money, I'm going to pay it right back into Shopify. I'm not going to go on a shopping spree. I'm not gonna do none of that. I'm literally going to take that money back and pay it a portion of it into Shopify and then use another portion to invest in inventory. So depending on how many sales I get, if it's enough for me to pay off my loan, I will pay it off. If not, then I'll pay a portion, a large portion, and then use the rest to invest back into inventory. So that's kind of how I do it. So that's why, you know, like this is my first time ever taking a loan for my business. I know a lot of people who are new to my channel or new to following me, they see all this inventory that I, I purchased all that inventory. Like if you've ever seen me post my inventory, that is just straight like me investing back into my business. That's not, I never took a loan or anything. I just straight up, I ordered lashes, I got sales, I made money, I ordered some more. I made money, I ordered some more. I made money, I ordered some more until I growed and growed and growed and growed and growed. So now I'm to the point where I have thousands and thousands of lashes to ship out. And like I said, y'all, this whole pandemic thing especially overseas is getting scary over here you might feel like you know and i spoke about this in my other video you might feel like you know it's not that serious because even me i work in a hospital and even in the hospital they're closing down the pandemic wards and now they're opening back up the hospital but overseas that's not the same situation and my suppliers have told me like they only have this much people working and stuff like that and it's like what happens if god forbid you know something happens to my supplier and you know i'm not able to purchase inventory i will I, it's gonna take me time to find a new supplier if god forbid anything like that happened because i'm not gonna find the same deals my supplier is giving me that i've been shopping with for over two years etc so i just like to be prepared like i said early in the video i've been going to walmart y'all they are sold out of a lot of groceries so i'm about to stock up make sure i'm stocked up so i'm not starving this winter my phone just gave me the notification that it's about to die so that's what that was but yeah so i just like to be prepared just like when the pandemic first hit i wasn't really prepared i was stocked up and then the pandemic hit and i was just like oh my god nobody's gonna be shopping with me and then what do you know that's when i gained the most customers i've ever had to date so i'm just really excited i'm not sure what's going on on this road y'all but i'm about to be at the post office and we will chat later I am back my hair is done let me know how y'all like my braids I got on my lashes in the style L6 these are 25 mm lashes but I love them you guys and when I was younger I used to hate when my mom did braids like this on me like I felt like these braids like made me look like a man even when I wear these braids like under my wigs I feel like a man but I just gotta throw on some hoop earrings she did really good because I haven't been to her in a minute. I usually only go to her when I want braids. But, um, and my braider, I really wanted box braids, but she wasn't answering. So she could have done my box braids, but I really wanted this style, y'all. But I sent her a bunch of pictures. Where's my bonnet? I sent her a bunch of pictures and I hope she did what I said, you know, and that like, when I got there it was her sister doing it and I'm like dang she's not the one doing it I hope her sister do it right but she did do it right and I like it like I said I just hope it lasts I'm gonna try to make it last at least three to four weeks because I usually keep my styles in for three at least three weeks but I just recorded my house tour video my brother came over and recorded it I'm super excited I'm not sure if that video will be up before this one but regardless make sure I run up the views on that video run up the views on that other video I got a package that came in I didn't want to bring it to my bathroom. So we're going to unbox that tomorrow. And I'm about to go catch up on my show and eat some cookies. Today is Friday. I am so excited, y'all, because I was going through my goal book. 
And y'all, I manifested everything for this week and it's already Friday. So now I can tell y'all what my, my goals were since it's been accomplished. So week one's goal was definitely to add more items to my Etsy shop. I've had trouble with Etsy. Like I had an Etsy shop, I want to say earlier this year. <laughs> And I um, didn't know how to work it. I didn't do it off the app, I did it off my laptop. So I did receive orders from there, but I ended up refunding those people because I didn't know what I was doing. So I recently went back on there, but I only had like two or three items. So this week I spent the time like adding more items and my views have went up tremendously. Even though I haven't received the order off of my Etsy shop yet, I still have like a lot of views. But my goal was to add more items. My next goal was to gain 30 subbies and I wrote where I was currently at. I've surpassed that. And the goal week before that was to gain, let me find it. My goals before that for last week, like the week prior was to gain 25 subbies. So this week I decided to up it by five and I reached it. And today's only Friday. We still have two more days left in the week. And if you have not copped my journal, not my journal, my journals will be dropping, my manifestation journals. But if you have not copped my ebook on how to strategize your week as a business owner, by the time this video drops, it will be up. That's another thing was working on my new ebook that was on my goal list, which I did. And I'm almost done with it. I'm just finishing up pretty much. But like I said, by the time this video goes up, that ebook would have dropped. Make sure to cop it because it is filled with basically, um, like I always say, a lot of us live in different walks of life. Some of us work our full-time jobs. Some of us go to school. Some of us have kids or whatever else we have going on, but we're still business owners. And it's hard to kind of stay focused with what you need to do in your day-to-day -day week as a business owner. So I basically, in this ebook, I kind of divide the work week, like Sunday, Monday, Wednesday to Saturday, what you could be doing as a business owner to help you stay focused on your business and help you reach your goals. So that's basically what that ebook is about. 10, up to 10 pages of straight knowledge. I'm on page nine right now and I'm still not done. Like I said, I'm still adding and taking away, but mainly adding. So you definitely want to cop that ebook and check out all my other ebooks. I have an ebook on growing your Instagram, ebook on becoming a wholesaler. So apart from having my YouTube channel, which y'all are watching out for free, you can also pay for my ebooks or join my, my other goals this week of doing my promo video, which is already up on my channel and it should already be live. Email to subbies over 1K in sales. So I'm super excited. Like I said, now I'm about to finish working on my ebook. I'm going to get my tattoo later on today. I wanted this tattoo for a minute. I've wanted a butterfly tattoo just to kind of like symbolize um, this new journey I'm going into. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like a self-love journey because I've self-loved myself, but then I kind of like distract myself. I don't know how to explain it, but I've been wanting this butterfly tattoo for a minute. So I'm excited to getting it. Um, cause like this past year I've dealt with so many things. Like I've dealt with like, you know, work related stuff, business related stuff, guy related stuff, depression, just so much stuff. And I'm excited to get this tattoo and hopefully like me just looking at it every day will kind of like brighten up my day. So right now I'm at 18 orders, which I'm very excited about. And y'all, let me go grab the liner pins. This one came in last night. It's the liner pins. I'm so excited because I have orders to do. These are the two-in-one liner pins. So not only is this an eyeliner, it also serves as a lash glue. So that's all that's in this box. So I have orders to do with this, so I'm excited so I can ship out some orders. And then I have to come take product pictures and product videos to promote as well to get people to purchase. And I'm just so excited. Majority of this is basically my Black Friday inventory. So if you are not following on Instagram, make sure you're following so y'all do not miss. I'm having a Black Friday sale that Friday. Small Business Saturday sale on Saturday. Cyber Monday sale on Monday. So whole weekend full of sales, full of giveaway opportunities. So you definitely don't want to miss out. So basically I put the, if you've ever watched when I do this, I basically put the order number on the bag. 
as well as the customer's name. And I just pre-pack my orders. And once I have all of this done, I just sit down in one sitting and just straight print out labels. So this person right here ordered two packs of the liner pens that I just showed you guys. So this was one of the orders I had on hold. So now I gotta count to make sure that it's 10. So these two fell out of here. So that's 10 and that's 10. I like to wrap these with bubble wrap just because, I don't know, I just like wrapping them. So I usually, no, I usually put the bubble wrap around it first and then I wrap it with the rubber band. Kind of like that. Don't look at my nails, y'all. So yeah, I got the cutest little message yesterday. Like one of my customers that I have reached out to about her order, she basically told me, which I'm not sure if she watches my videos or not, but she basically had told me um, that she's 51 and I'm an inspiration and stuff like that. And that really just did something to me. Like, I love the fact that I'm able to inspire people out there. Like, I love that fact. And anything is possible, you guys. Anything is possible. So this next order, this is a last book order. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. That's another last book order. What did they order? That's another last book order. All these orders is waiting on last books, y'all. Dang, that's another last book order. We got a lot of last book orders to do when there's last books. When these lash books arrive, which if you need wholesale lash books, I got wholesale lash books available. So, okay, she ordered, um, I'm going to skip that one for now because I can't fit it in these bubble mailers. I have to get a box. So this next order, she ordered um, nine pairs of lashes. So she ordered three of the H096, three AL15, and 3AL37. Like, look at how fast that is. When you know where your lashes are, you just grab them, pack, and that order is done. I just got to print out the label. This next order is 880. Let me not be calling people's orders numbers out. <laughs> she ordered 1A37, 1AL15. She also ordered an L509. And she ordered a L13, which is all the way over there that I'm about to go get. And she also ordered a pink lash applicator. So she ordered that and that. So that's that. Okay, let's see what other orders we can work on. Dang, I don't know. Oh, there goes my pen. So this person right here, she ordered um, the lash brushes. So she ordered two blues and one black. So these are the last brushes, you guys. So she ordered two blues and one black. This is the item that I added on October 22nd as part of the launch. But honestly, y'all, they're not giving, like... And that's what I hate, like, when you do polls. Like, polls are good and all, but it's like, I'm glad I ordered what I ordered because, like I said, I've been doing this for two plus years now, so... Just because people say yes when you do them polls and they tell you they want these colors don't mean you go all out and buy all this stuff. And I tell y'all, even me, I don't care how big or how small your business is. You never want to go out and buy a whole bunch of inventory, especially when it's a new release item. This was a new release item, these brushes. I posted a poll. I asked it, what colors would you choose? If, and I ordered the colors that were most voted. And like I said, I didn't even order a lot. Excuse me, I really don't remember how much I ordered, but I promise y'all, I didn't order a lot. Compared to what I usually order, I didn't order a lot. Like, I didn't order straight a box of those. I ordered those to where my supplier can mix it in the same box as my lashes and we would be good. So the fact that I still have some left, I don't have a lot left, but the fact that I still have some left, that's something that I was hoping, you know, I would sell out the same day of the sale. But it didn't work out. But like I said, this is just like, this is just me letting y'all know and being transparent as always that even me, because some of y'all feel like I'm so up here, even though I'm not, I'm just like y'all. But 
just because you may have been in business in two years or so doesn't mean that when you drop something, it's going to sell out the same day. But like I said, I was already aware of that. I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I was already aware. I know how this stuff goes. That's why I tell people it's good to do polls to kind of get an idea. But you also, you know, when you do do polls, you want to see who exactly voted. If you know that that's your customer and they'll shop, okay. Because some people are just voting just to, you know, participate. So let's see. This next item, well, this next order, she ordered 10 of the Everyday Lashes, which I have 10 right here. The Everyday Lashes are perfect for every day. If you wear glasses, these are perfect for you. And if you're watching this video and you're interested in starting a lash business, this might be the chance. Click the link in the description box and make me your lash vendor, as always. It's crazy how much people come to my website from YouTube. Like, every time I go on Shopify, it's like this much percentage of your website referrals came from YouTube. I'm like, wow, people are really clicking my website link from my YouTube. And a lot of y'all followed my page and y'all shop, and I really, really appreciate it. So let's see what this next order is. Okay, so this next order... She ordered 13 pairs of A37. And ain't it crazy, y'all? I promise y'all, I would have still been laying in bed finishing my ebook. Even though I was watching my show, I had to force myself to come here and record. And not really record, but to work on this. Because I just decided to say, you know, let me post this as part of my vlog because I kind of did anyway. And I am packing orders, so I might as well contribute it. I was going to wait till Sunday or something to do this. But I'm glad I'm getting it done now. Because you just know what will ever... You just never know what's going to happen between now and then. Today's Friday. Something could happen tomorrow. Something could happen today. And I'm not able to pack orders. But now I'm going to get these done. The only thing is I don't like printing my labels out this early because they're not shipping out till monday is somebody will get their tracking today for example but i'm glad i got to incorporate you know a little pack orders and chat with me in this vlog in this video because this is a day in my life literally i ain't like y'all know what's really crazy is um these past three days i took a break a mental break <laughs> and i'm at home right i'm not at work and I made way more money these past three days. I basically made way more than what I make in even two weeks at my job. So just, and like I said, somebody had mentioned that in my comments, like when I previously took a break, just the difference in, you know, me being, um, I had an ebook sale the other day when I didn't go to work. I worked on my vending machine. I went live. I dropped the ebook sale. All these people purchased my ebook. I dropped the lash sale, been going live, all these people like just doing promos, selling vendors, like it's just crazy. Like, and that just, it just helps motivate me because it lets me know what I'm capable of because of course we are not working our job the rest of our life, me personally, which there's nothing wrong with working your job. If you work your job, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that's not something I plan on doing for the rest of my life. But with that being said, it just kind of motivates me every time I work on my business and I'm not at work. It just motivates me like what I'm capable of as a person. Like if I'm able to do this much in sales by on my own at home, imagine if I'm, you know, home full time 24 seven, what my business is capable of. So that's kind of like how I see it. It just motivates me. So she ordered 7H096, six pairs of the AL15s. She also ordered six pairs of the 41s which this is a new arrival style that i dropped on the 22nd and then she also ordered um six pairs of the a37s which is also a new arrival style but these dropped when did i drop these i can't remember when i dropped these but these are a new arrival style and these are very popular like y'all all these styles that y'all see the cubbies are almost empty these just restocked this past week but i dropped the sale to kind of get rid of them because i do i need some orders rolling in and um i'm just trying to make sure it's 25 5 10 15 16 17 18, 19, 20. yeah that's 25 
But I needed some orders rolling in, so I dropped the last show to kind of clear some inventory out. And yeah, so we clearing out what we just received. Because you never want to just, you know, have no sale days. It might happen, but you still want to figure out and strategize what you're going to do. So this person ordered a variation of stuff. So I'm not going to do her order right now just because I'm going to be running up and down this video <laughs> trying to get her stuff. Okay, so this next person, she ordered six purple lash applicators. And it's her fourth order with me. She ordered three of the H096, the new arrival style that I dropped. She ordered three H41s. I'm thinking if I should do a video kind of explaining my lash wholesaling process, even though I have videos on that already, kind of like an updated one with my different lash styles. That's, that way I can use it for people who don't want to read my website <laughs> and like what my lash wholesaling works like, kind of break down the profit. Like if you purchase my lashes with the 15 pack, you're getting it for this much money. You're able to flip it to this much and make this much in profit and da 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 da. But I don't know y'all, I really don't know. Might just do an ebook, I don't know. And then she ordered six purple lash applicators. So this is one of my lash applicator buckets. And these sweatpants were sent to me by Marlia Decor. I'm trying to remember her business name, <laughs> but she sent it to me in the promo video. And I hope I remember to link her business name in the description box. And if not, I hope she comments on this video and watches this video and she can comment. And she ordered six purple lash applicators. So yeah, I pretty much sell everything. We got the lash books. We got the lash applicators. We got the lash glue. We got the liner pens. We got the lashes. What else do we got? <laughs> Hopefully soon mascara. I'm just kind of scared with the mascara because the mascara, um, the supplier that's selling the mascara that I'm going to get it to have wholesale mascara, she actually um, is who I purchase my everyday lashes from. So I'm going to wait because I'm kind of stocked up on my everyday lashes. The next time I order my everyday lashes, she's going to provide me some samples so that way I can test them out. And hopefully this whole process will happen before January because definitely I want to have mascara in my inventory and any other lash related items that I can think of to add to my inventory. So let me see what the next order is. Oh, y'all, it's almost time for me to leave. I'm kind of getting scared now that I'm about to go get this tattoo. So this next person, she ordered 10 lash glues wholesale and a pair of H12. So I'm gonna put it in this mesh bag because my lash glues, um, the way my, oop. <laughs> The way my suppliers sent them is in packs of four and my wholesale options is 10. So it's like four, eight, and then two loose ones, or maybe I'll just take these two out and give her these, like these like this. So that's that, four, eight, 10. And then she ordered one H12, which is up here. Let me grab a bubble mailer. And just like that, my bubble mailer stack is getting low, which I need to order some to stock up for Black Friday because one thing we don't need to run out of is bubble mailers at all. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I hope y'all watched this video all the way to this point. This video was kind of getting long and I don't want it to get too long. But thank you everybody who is supporting my channel, who is subscribed. Make sure you check out my other videos. Make sure you follow my business page and my personal page. These are all the orders that I packaged during the duration of this video. And um, if you follow me, then y'all will see when I post these orders. But yeah, I will see you guys on